Artikel 29 The marks of the two church and wherein it differs from the false church. We believe that we ought diligently and circumspectly to discern from the word of God which is the true church, since all sects which are in the world assume to themselves the name of the church, but we speak not here but we speak not here of hypocrites who are mixed in the church with the good, yet are not of the church to externally it, in it, but we say that the body and communion of the true church must be distinguished from all sects that call them that call themselves the church. The marks by which the true church is known are this. If the pure doctrine of the gospel is preached therein, if it maintains the pure administration of the sacraments as instituted by Christ, if church discipline is a size in chastening of sin, in short, if all things are managed according to the pure word of God, all things contrary there to reject it, and Jesus Christ acknowledged as the holy head of the church, hereby the true church may certainly, may certainly be known, from which no man has a right to separate himself. With respect to those who are members of the church, they may be known by the marks of Christians, namely by faith, and when, having received Jesus Christ, the only Saviour, their faith sin, follow after righteousness, love the true God in their neighbor, neither turn aside to the right of the or left, and crucify the flesh with the works of thereof. But this is not to be understood as if there did not remain in them great infirmities, but they fight against them through the Spirit all the days of their life, continually taking their refuge in the blood, death, passion, and obedience of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom they have remission of sins through faith in Him. As for the falsehoods, it ascribes more power and authority to itself and its ordinances than to the word of God and will not submit itself to the yoke of Christ. Neither does it administer the sacraments as appointed by Christ in his word, but adds and takes but adds to and takes from them as it thinks proper it relies more upon men than upon upon Christ and persecutes those who live holy according to the word of God and rebuke it for its errors for its errors errors, covetousness and loyalty. These two churches are easily known and distinguished from each other.